I ever witnessed, and I once saw a snake swallow a cat whole. A cat? Really? And who are you? Essio, please. But all my friends call me Essio. Well, Essio, I am Bayek. How did you do that? Are you magic? Will you leave some more for me and my friends? I can tell you about my home, the most amazing city of Cyrene as we go. How can I refuse such a gracious offer? Lead the way, Essio. My gang will give you the grand tour, Bayek. You have a gang? Yes. I'm the most important child in Cyrene. I can see that, Essio. Let's go to the baths. It's where people walk around naked, being scraped and scratched and rubbed with oils. Oh, I hate getting my hair wet. Don't you, Bayek? It is why I shaved it off, Essio. And washing behind the ears, I bet. <laughs> yes. Some fancy Roman from the Citadel built it. Well, anyway, he spent 10,000 drachma on a floor made of little squares. All of that for some way you wash. When I grow up, I'm going to have a wife who'll never make me wash. Wives like that are hard to find, Essio. But I never doubted you. I wasn't sure myself, Essio. So where next? You're Egyptian, right? My father says you don't worship the same gods as we Greeks. We have some in common. Like Serapis. Oh yes, Serapis. I've heard of him. Uh, Apollo is all Greek and my favorite. He likes poetry, music, wine, and all that kind of stuff. But I like him because he has a bow and arrow and he likes to hunt. Do you like to hunt, Bayek? I do. I used to hunt with my boy, Essio. If you jump from his temple there, then maybe he'll be watching from Mount Olympus and reward me with my own bow and arrow so I can hunt rabbits in the woods. I would like to see that. Oh, this is it. Isn't the polio marvelous? This is van pedes. Lexon, Lexon. Make Apollo proud, Bayek! 
I will not forget this day, Bayek. We should honor it. I officially name you the Flea of Cyrene. <laughs> I will treasure it. Goodbye, Ezio. Stay out of trouble. I can't promise, but I will try for you, Great Flea. I hope you get to hunt with your son again soon. So do I, Ezio. Flea, I told my sister about you, and she forgot all about Theocles. Look, everyone, it's the Flea of Cyrene. If you have a moment, the fate of our founder is at stake. I am not a Philaketai. I am a Medjai. Oh yes, of course, I should have noticed. These people don't understand. Our Roman friends do not take kindly to civil disobedience. Why are they protesting? They fear all is not well with our founder, the great Batos. The centurion locked his tomb. Some say he desecrated the dead in there, left a scrawled note on the door and sauntered back to the Acropolis. Please, someone should investigate without alerting the Romans. And if that someone were to find anything, they could meet me here and I'd be happy to help. The Romans have no respect. Did you find anything? The Greeks also treat their dead with great honor. And now, they suffer like Egyptians. Empty. Drunk and stupid is a troublesome combination. Have the Romans no respect for the dead? The tomb's been ransacked. The Romans were looking for something. Something is missing. The founder must have been buried with these treasures. The bow and medallion are gone. The Romans are little more than tomb robbers. The Greeks are learning what it feels like to be Egyptian. Have your land, your dead, and your relics desecrated by an invading force. Oh, my God. 
will all it is. Medallion. The priest will be glad to see the relics returned. Your suspicions were well founded. The Romans took Batos' treasure. You have the relics? I do. They were not given the respect they were due. Those filthy desecrators. I will keep Bato's medallion safe. Legend says if it leaves the city, so will our fortunes. And the bow? It longs to be in the service of Sarinaica again. Please, keep it. And maybe teach the Romans a lesson in honoring the dead. Huh. Gladly. The Founder sent you to us. Farewell, Magi. and most exotic goods in Cyrene. Talk to the mouse! Hey, you there! Big, strong Egyptian! That putos mintos. He's tainting our market with his worthless tat. Get many Egyptians in Cyrene. You'll get no judgment from the mouse, but you did stick out. The mouse? An odd title, my friend. Yes, yes, I am the mouse, because I can access the more hard-to-find trinkets. If you follow me to my shop, I'll show you. I have bows, blades, scepters. You won't be disappointed. The mouse guarantees it. Sir... Bayek. All right. Let's see what you have, mouse. Don't you have trouble with the Romans? Well, you know what they say about our Latin friends? The Greeks invented the threesome, and the Romans added women. <laughs> Besides, I know how to stay hidden, Sir Bayek. With the way I look, I have to. People think the mouse is unlucky. They don't see I am an entrepreneur and savior of the waves and strays. Oh. Waves and strays? The children, Sir Bayek. I give them work, a roof over their little heads. <laughs> Roman swine must have taken my chest to the barracks. Please, will you recover it? And why would I do that? Because you know what it's like to be brushed aside, victimized by those who hold themselves above you. The mouse will die on the streets with no living to support him. And what of the children? Will no one think of the children? And I could probably spare a fine reward for my savior. I would not want the children on my conscience. God bless you, Sir Bayek. I will wait for you in the market behind the baths. Good luck, my friend. Ah, Bayek, did you find my chest yet? Oh, 
Metaurus at the end. Merkelem occupied Ere. This place is everywhere. Stash. Saved my life for a second time, Sir Bayek. I am blessed, blessed by the gods who brought you to me on this, the greatest of days. The mouse will embrace you as a sign of my undying gratitude. Uh, please don't. Then money, I will shower you with riches to make Chris jealous. Take care of yourself, mouse. Try not to get caught in any more traps, huh? Ah, such grace, such wit. You deserve more than mere money. Come see me again later. I will find you something special from my stash. Sir Bayek, my eyes weep in joy at the sight of you. Did you hear? See that market merchant is trying to undercut him.
Thank you, Sir Bayek. Get me out of this bloody cage. I'm hurt. They are choosing your murder. Me? I value life above all. Of course you do. Don't worry. You are safe now. Thank you. There is a real murderer out there. He's killing my friends. Slow down and tell me what happened, Mouse. I was at the bathhouse, meeting some associates, and suddenly a legion accosted me. Didn't you plead your innocence? They wouldn't listen. They accused me of killing Paulus Aurelius, the moneylender, gathered like a pig. Red hair in his fist, not my hair. I met with him, yes, but when I left the baths, he was very much alive, drinking and whoring as usual. I am many things, but not a killer. It is all right, Mouse. I believe you. But the Romans will not believe a cripple and an Egyptian. Have faith. Stay low and wait for me at the gardens of the Temple of Zeus. There may still be clues to the real killer at the bathhouse. No Smintos is not the murderer, but I must discover who is. The Romans have closed off the baths. I should look for another way in. So this is where he was murdered. This trigel has blood on it. Could be the murder weapon. The body has been moved. I need to find it. Red hair. But it is horse hair. Maybe from a wig. That is why Smintos was falsely accused. A pin from a dress. Could the murderer be a woman? A scattering of beads. Someone broke their necklace. Did Paulus Aurelia struggle with a woman? of death and something else perfume what will you tell me Paulus Aurelius something is stuffed down his throat a knot hmm. I will cleanse Cyrene of the hedonists my next tragedy will strike down Cyrene's greatest actor Metrobius and it is signed Vesta Vesta, Vesta. What is your problem with pleasure seekers? I need to find this actor before this murderer strikes again. Phanos would be appalled if an actor were to die. Why is Vesta targeting these men? Could she be a prostitute killing off her clients? I need to get rid of that lion before I can confirm my suspicions. But I think that is Vesta's second victim. Poor beast. Vesta must have released him to distract us from our handiwork. Metrobius is a martyr for art and theater. Our play will go on. We will bury Metrobius underneath the theater. And yes, we will continue to act. Metrobius, the murderer's second victim. There's not much left of him. Another note. Metrobius took his final bow. Only the horror remains, and he will die at the wolf's den. 
This Vesta has a flair for the dramatic. The horror's wolf's den must be the local brothel. My instincts were right. Vesta's a prostitute, but she's looking for her father. I only hope I find him before she does. Ah, I'm too late. Another note. This must be the horror. Father, you die. You will be quiet now, mother. By the gods, this Vesta is insane. That's it, mother. It's finished. I will join you in five I cannot stop. I will not kill you. Why did you kill them all? I have tasted darkness too, but you are mad. You cannot understand what it is to be born into flames. To be born a piece of dust. I am ash. Whoa. Vesta was not a prostitute, but the forgotten son of one. I hope the Duat figures you out. I should return to Smintos. Did you find the killer? Yes. The son of a prostitute. When his mother died, terrible grief overtook him. He believed a car would not let him rest until he found his father. He's dead? I am sorry, Mouse. He could not be reasoned with. I have his letters. The story they tell is a tragic one. Poor boy. Such sadness. What will you do? Won't the Romans be searching for you? I have a plan. A new life in Apollonia, where you can taste the sea, it is so close. Find me there if you can, Sir Bayek. Good luck, Mouse. Here. Why so secretive, Mouse? I have shenanigans in mind, my friend. The reward is money for you and an idyllic new life for the mouse. A farm by the coast where I will raise chickens, goats. But... The man wants a pharaoh's ransom for the deed, Sir Bayek. But Dolos, the spirit of cunning, sent you to help with my foolproof plan. Ah, I am guessing this plan involves the Romans. And smugglers. So, will you join me on one last adventure, Sir Bayek? Uh, why not? It's surprising what Roman thieves will spill if you ply them with enough wine. The snitch told me <gasps> the smuggler's ship has a code name. Corvum Nigrum, the Black Crow. Before they dock, the crow drops her contraband into the shallows. And the smugglers return later for their loot. Yes. Here, here. How do I let you talk me into this game? We'll make a pirate of you yet. Steal the dock manifest from the Romans. It will tell us the Black Crow's route into the harbor. I'll wait for you across the docks. Don't get caught, Sir Bayek. In the Nazis, books! Put them yeah, super not to draw attention here. Perhaps the hunters should become the hunted. Ah, here it 
is. The Black Crow. And notes from the Roman Dockmaster. Sir Bayek, you return unscathed. The manifest says the ship arrived from Alexandria with the first tide. Ah, they'll have dropped their illegal imports at the shipwreck east of Apollonia. However, based on the manifest, the Romans cracked the code. They will be looking too. I have turned you into a pirate, Sir Bayek. A swindler of the Seven Seas. <laughs> hey, I must admit. This is one of your more enlivening schemes, Mouse. It is good to hear your laugh, my friend. I've arranged to meet the man at the ruins on the coast. Come there with a plunder. Soon, that joyous land will be mine. Just another liar and cheat. Where will you go now? Cyrene was a cruel mistress, Sir Bayek. But it's time to retire. You will miss her? Miss Romans kicking me to the street? Miss people spitting at my poor cursed face? No. You should use this boodle to really buy a farm you wanted, Mouse. Yes, I will. And make wine from my vines and cheese from my goats. Then one day we'll raise a cup to our friendship. Ah. That will be the best of day. Here, your reward. Thank you from the depths of my heart, Bayek. A man's heart is his own god. Goodbye, Smintos.
Gods, swallowed up by the Earthshaker. to the land of the dead. You sought to kill my wife. Your whore of a wife is a murderess, wafely and wanton. I did my duty as a Philagetai, and for this you have taken my life. Is your vengeance above all law, Medja? Be warned. The Philakes will hunt you down and exact revenge. May the Hidden One walk beside you. The Lord of the Duat awaits.
Looks important. Locked. These are the rooms of the royal scribe. A ladder. Hmm. Looks important. Locked. Ah, a key. <clears throat> Official papers. This just belongs to the royal scribe himself, Eudorus. Huh? False bottom. Letter. Esteemed Ibis, the Pharaoh remains compliant and is our puppet in all things. Act with caution in Siwa. The murder of the Heron was but the first. Two from among us here in Alexandria have also been killed. However, the situation is under control. Gennadios is actively questioning the populace. We commend your efforts, Ibis. Long life. Stamp to the seal of the snake. The snake is Eudorus, the royal scribe. I ask. Aristo is taking Eudorus to court for pleasure. No. I was visiting the docks and heard it from Aristo's wife herself. His wife? She works herself into histrionics over nothing. Eudorus stole whole paragraphs from Aristo's book about the Nile. Kairos <laughs> <laughs> chooses his horses badly. The building alone is Have you seen his wife? Look up at that expansive ceiling. Simply divine. Is everything to your liking, my lord? The water is a bit tepid. Such a compass. Ptolemy is a chinless symbol. Spawn of Athens! What are you up to? My lord, are you properly served? Quiet. See that my towels are ready. you to kill me. It was you who murdered my son before my eyes. You are a fool. At the temple, in Siwa! 
That forsaken shithole? I had nothing to do with that disaster. It is too late for your lies. Anubis awaits. It is worth the loss to slay the snake at last. The snake? The snake will never die. God! Son of Apep, the Lord of the Duat awaits. My dearest. The snake and Gennadios are dead. Oh. It was Eudorus. He died flailing in the baths. I wish I had been there. I should pull you out. Your adrenaline and BP are elevated, and it's affecting your heart rate and hormonal markings. Serotonin and oxytocin in particular. What happened in there? Aya's here. Who's Aya? My ex-wife. I can feel her nearby. You can feel her? Pretty sure that's the bleeding effect. Along with Bayek's memories, you're, you're also experiencing his emotions. No, you dork. I think she's actually in this cave. Spouses usually share the same tomb. A second mummy? We should really report to Abstergo. Maybe after I find Aya. I I'm gonna call it in if you don't. Deanna, no! If you do it there, well, get no credit. They'll cut me out like always. <sighs> okay. 
There. What is it? The bleeding effect is leading me to Aya. Oh, great. More fuel for your superhero complex.